For the last couple of months, you've been carefully selecting all the chili pepper varieties you plan to grow. You spread the sea packets out in front of you, dreaming of the beautiful spicy crops you're gonna have. Let's get these bad boys started. Stop, don't make this common mistake. I've been growing for decades and I still make this mistake sometimes. I just cannot wait to get started with my chilies. There are three things to consider when starting your chili seeds. First is your last frost date. Second is, will you be growing under cover like a greenhouse or a polytunnel? And thirdly, will you be growing in pots or direct in the soil? The most important factor is your last frost date. Where I live, the average last frost date is the end of April. If you're in the south of England, then this will be the beginning of April. And for the US, here is a list of the average last frost dates for each zone. It's a balancing act. You want to get your plants outside into full sunshine as soon as possible while avoiding the frost. If the roots of your plants freeze, then your plants will die and nobody wants that. You also don't want to start your seeds too late because putting young plants out in full summer sunshine will create a massive challenge for hardening off your plant. If you time it right, you won't need to harden them off at all, saving a ton of time. Ideally, you want to start your chili plants around six to eight weeks before the last frost dates. Short season plants like jalapenos, cayenne, bird's eye can be started later than longer season plants like most super hot chilies. Jalapenos typically take around 70 to 90 days from seed to harvest, whereas chilies like the habanero will take between 90 and 120 days to get a harvest. But in reality, you'll be growing these plants for longer than this because you want a big plant with a big harvest. So you want to start as early as practically possible without stunting their growth by keeping them indoors too long. If you are fortunate enough to have a greenhouse or polytunnel, then this will allow you to get your plants outdoors a couple of weeks before the last frost because they should be protected from the frost. Also, if you plant out in cold soil, even if your plant survives, it will stunt its growth and set you back up to a month. This is one of the benefits of growing in pots like I do. It is easier to control the soil temperature than if you're planting directly in the ground. If you are able to put a heater in your grow space, then you could get them outside even earlier. But this can prove to be a rather expensive proposition. In fact, I have a few experiments that I'm going to be doing this season that will hopefully give a more affordable way to heat your greenhouses, but uh, time will tell. I'll let you know in some future videos. Now, if you live somewhere that doesn't get frost at all, I would still consider carefully when you start your seeds. Work with the season. Time it so that your vulnerable seedlings will be planted out in early spring sunshine so you don't have too much of a challenge trying to harden them off. This video is making the assumption that you're starting your seeds indoors under grow lights. If you want to learn everything you need to know about grow lights, check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and stay spicy.